Hello viewers, in this video we are going to represent a very important microbiological test which is enumeration of E. coli. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. Be with us, be a laboratory expert. We can enumerate E. coli by following 7 steps shown in the display. To conduct the experiment, we need balance machine, microwave oven, biological safety cabinet, incubator, stomacher machine, stomacher bag, autoclave, micropipette, petri dish, pipette tips, spatula, inoculating loop, peptin, sodium chloride, chromocult coliform agar, yoshin methylene blue agar, and sorbitol McConkey agar. Before going for the main test, just take a look at the media and diluent preparation. To prepare chromocult coliform agar, dissolve 2.65 grams of dehydrated agar media in 100 ml distilled water. Boil the media at 100 degrees Celsius in microwave oven or hot plate. Rotate the flask to mix the content. Apply heat if required but do not overheat. Pour 15 ml into sterile petri dishes and allow the plates to cool and become solidified. To prepare EMB agar, dissolve 3.6 grams dehydrated media into 100 ml distilled water. Autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. Distribute 15 ml into sterile plates. To prepare a smack, dissolve 5 grams dehydrated media into 100 ml distilled water. Autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. Distribute 15 ml into sterile plates. Now we will prepare the diluent. Take 0.5 gram pepton into a large flask. Now add 4.25 grams of sodium chloride. Dissolve the content in 500 ml distilled water. Shake to mix well. Autoclave the pepton salt solution at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. Now we are ready for sample preparation. First of all, we will prepare a solid sample. Take 25 grams of sample into a sterile stomacher bag. Dilute the sample with 225 ml of autoclave and cooled pepton salt solution. Now mix the diluted sample using a stomacher machine. This makes 10 times dilution of the sample. Makes further dilutions of the sample if necessary. In case of liquid sample, shake and vortex the container to homogenize the sample and make dilution if necessary by following serial dilution technique. Once sample is prepared, we are ready to go for the sample inoculation. Label 2 chromocult coliform agar plate for trial 1 and trial 2. In this video, we will inoculate chromocult agar plates for only original liquid sample and we will not use any dilution because we suspect that this sample contains a few number of E. coli. So, if your sample is suspected to have a heavy load of E. coli, then inoculate the dilutions on the agar plate along with your original sample. In this video, we will inoculate chromocult agar plates for only original liquid sample and we won't use any dilution of the sample. 
Now prepared 0.1 ml from the prepared sample or dilution into chromocult agar plate for trial 1. Discard the tape from the micro pipette and attach a new one. Pipette 0.1 ml again from the prepared sample or dilution into CC plate for trial 2. Discard the tape from the micro pipette. Burn glass rod spreaders moistened with ethanol and cool inside the biological safety cabinet. Spread the sample aseptically on chromocult agar plates using burn sterile spreader. For details about spread plate technique, take a look at our video. Video link is given in the description section. Close the plates with lead and discard the spreader. Incubate the plates at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Take out the plates after incubation. We can see many violet colored colonies on CCA plates. These violet colonies are suspected as E. coli which need to be confirmed in the next step. For the confirmation, inoculate the presumptive E. coli colonies on EMB agar and SMAC agar plate by streaking method. Pick a colony from chromocult coliform agar plate and streak on SMAC agar plate. Label the plate. Pick another colony from the chromocult plate and streak on EMB agar plate. For details about streaking technique, take a look at our video. Video link is given in the description section. Label the plate. After inoculation, incubate both of the plates at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. 
take out the plates from the incubator after 24 hours and observe the plates for colony characteristics. E.coli gives metallic green sheen on EMB agar plate, so metallic green sheen on EMB plate confirms the presence of E.coli. E.coli gives pink colonies on SMAC agar media. So, pink color colonies on SMAC agar plate confirms the presence of E. coli. We observed violet colonies on chromocult coliform agar plate, pink colonies on sorbitol McConkey agar plate, and metallic green sheen on Yushin methylene blue agar plate. All colonies tested in the confirmation step are confirmed as E. coli based on their colony characteristics on CCA, SMAC and EMB agar plate. Now we will count these confirmed E. coli colonies to evaluate the test result. In the trial 1 cc plate, we got 104 E. coli colonies. Now we will count the trial 2 plate. In the trial 2 plate, we got 98 E. coli colonies. Now we have to calculate the total E. coli cell in the sample. In this test, we found 104 CFU E. coli in trial 1 and 98 CFU in trial 2. In average, we get 101 CFU E. coli. We did not dilute our sample, that's why dilution factor is 1. We sprayed 0.1 ml sample on the CCA plate, that's why inoculating factor is 10. Let's put the values in the equation shown in the left side. By solving the equation, we get the total E. coli count of the tested wastewater sample is 1010 CFU per ml.